Hi dear students, welcome you all to the brilliant group of institution Doha Qatar. We are all February 28th, we are going to approach our CBSC grade 12 chemistry examination. You know, total we have 10 chapters in chemistry, so we have to compete all these 10 chapters and we have to score 70 out of 70. For that, let's discuss about what are the chapter wise most important concepts and I will give you the entire idea about the chemistry papers and which all are the important concepts and entire idea. So dear all, let's go for the first chapter, we have solutions, right? They are all in chapter solution, you know, it's a physical chemistry chapter, so definitely we can expect numerical based question from this one, even theory also. You can expect the first area, you know, the first area of the chapter is starting from how to express the concentration of a solution. We have studied many methods, mole fraction, molarity, molality, mostly you can expect a numerical question from this one. And here all Henry's law and Raoult's law, these are the most important two laws in this chapter. Henry's law regarding gas in liquid and Raoult's law dealing with liquid in liquid. And related to Raoult's law, we have studied there are two types of solution. What are they? Ideal solution, non-ideal solution and their properties. Example, all of you be careful about this ideal and non-ideal solution. All right. In non-ideal solution, we have studied there are two separate category, what they call, that is called Positive deviations and negative deviation solution. Please study all their properties, graph and their examples. Very important. And we can go for the very sure question you can expect from colligative properties. What are colligative properties? You know, the property of a solution which depends on the number of particle. So definition of colligative property and what are the four type of colligative property we have studied in this chapter. You know very well, relative lowering of vapor pressure, depression in freezing point, elevation in boiling point and osmotic pressure. They are all, all their equations, numericals and their terms, especially what is cryoscopic constant, what is ebullioscopic constant, all these terms, expression and numerical definitely you can expect from colligative property. In colligative property, you know, there is an abnormality in molecular mass. So we will use a term what called Van Hoff factor I. So Van Hoff factor, the related questions also you can expect either in the MCQ or in the colligative property numerical. So they are all, these are the main concepts you have to be focused on the chapter, solution chapter, the first chapter in which they are all numerical and theory based questions you can expect. So let's go for the next chapter that is nothing but electrochemistry. We are all in electrochemistry also a physical chemistry chapter. So it's definitely you can expect question two type which all theory and numerical based question. This is the high weightage chapter in our grade 12 chemistry around nine marks is the is you can expect from electrochemistry chapter. So what is the first concept? Definitely you can expect a question regarding Nernst equation. You know, E cell and E naught cell connected equation, Nernst equation, numericals will be the conductivity part. You know, conductance, conductivity, resistance, resistivity, cell constant, that area you have studied, that's very important. You can expect for numerical part, even the molar conductivity, lambda m, limiting molar conductivity, lambda m naught, etc. Limiting molar conductivity, please concentrate all of you two concepts, which all are the that is cold rashes slow and which one debay huckel onsager equation that graph is also important which graph debay huckel onsager equation graphical method is important they will ask you what is on x axis y axis what is the slope etc and cold rashes slow related numerical and please study the definition also and they are all Faraday's law. Expecting question, Faraday's first law and second law. You know, when a quantity of uh, charge passing through the uh, electrolyte, you know, there is a, some mass of substance deposit W is equal to ZIT, that is Faraday's first law. W1 by E1 equal to W2 by E2, that is the Faraday's second law. So Faraday's first law, second law, definition and a numerical, they are all important. Corrosion, they are all corrosion, they will ask you what is the uh, equation, what is the redox reaction, that equation they will ask you for uh, corrosion, you should study what is happening at anode and cathode and the overall reaction for corrosion and battery also a very sure question. We are all, you know, there are two types of batteries, primary cell and secondary cell. The subclassifications are the dry cell, nickel cadmium cell and, you know, the different type of cells, even fuel cell. Their anode reaction, cathode reaction and the overall reaction, definitely you can expect from, from any of the cell, okay, any of the cell. 
So these are the main important concepts in which chapter? Electrochemistry. So concentrate on these points all of you. Now we can go for the next highest uh, very important chapter in physical chemistry. Chemical kinetics, you know, dealing with the rate of a reaction, speed of a reaction, right? So, first question, unit of rate constant, you know, rate constant K, what is the unit? Mole raised to 1 minus N, liter raised to N minus 1, second raised to minus 1. They are unit related, maybe MCQ question, you can expect it. And order and molecularity, you have studied around 4, four differences, right? What is order and molecularity, their differences, which is experimental, which is theoretical, which can be zero, which cannot be zero, which is uh, applicable for both elementary step and complex reaction. And you know what is the definition, etc. So order and molecularity, difference, all of you, careful. And Arrhenius equation is very important. You know, K is equal to A into E raised to minus E A by R T. That is the Arrhenius equation. And Arrhenius equation, that log, that, uh, um, the, which one, their uh, graphical method is very important here all. Uh, the Arrhenius equation. And through Arrhenius equation, we have made an equation when T1, T2 given, K1, K2 given. What is the equation to calculate activation energy? Log K2 by K1 is equal to Ea divided by 2.303 R into 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2 where activation energy calculation can be expected as a numerical. And definitely you can expect a question from first order reaction the rate constant and half life of the reaction what is rate constant k is equal to 2.303 divided by t into log of which one r naught divided by r right so rate constant calculation will be there maybe time calculation or half life calculation what is the expression for half life t half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k just uh, revise every uh, every time and uh, try to keep writing the reactions and this equation and practice the numerical related to first order reaction very sure question and effect of temperature and catalyst what is the effect of temperature that actually we explained by the help of Arrhenius equation and the graph is important here all that the effect of temperature there is a graph we studied the fraction of molecules and their energy related and catalyst also what is the function of a catalyst here all it reduces the activation energy and speed of the reaction right that graph also important in collision theory please study just the equation collision theory that equation and which one what is the equation that is rate is equal to p into z a b into e raised to minus e a by r t please focus what is p probability factor and z what is that collision frequency and one more thing so they are all, these are the main uh, factors or main concept you have to be focused in the chapter chemical kinetics. So even in collision theory, one more point you have to study, you have, you, you have studied a small definition. What is that? What are the effective conditions to show a give or to give effective collision? You may study two, uh, two uh, rules or two conditions to make an effective collision. What is that? The colliding molecule should have a minimum amount of energy, what we call threshold energy and the molecule should be properly oriented. That point also, please keep in mind. So please practice all of you the numerical from this chapter, very sure. <coughs> Now we are going for a inorganic chapter D and F block elements. We are in D and F block elements. You know, it's a full theory chapter. Only one calculation you can expect it from the magnetic moment calculation. So D and F block element, mainly you have to focus on the first one, properties of D block element. You may study a lot of properties of D block elements. It's like why D block elements are colored, why uh, due to DD transition, why they are uh, used as catalyst, why they form complexes, why they show variable oxidation state and why their metallic character is very higher and why their melting point is higher. So, uh, what are interstitial compound, right? So, a lot of uh, properties, around 10, 12, 13, 4 properties you may study regarding D and F D block elements that is very important. Reasoning question you can expect from that. And second one is called lanthanides and actinide, their contraction, lanthanide contraction definition and their consequences, they are all very important question, there are three consequences you may study and uh, uh, the same thing in actinide contraction also. So mainly you have to focus on lanthanide contraction, what is the definition and their, and their uh, consequences and what is the difference between lanthanides and actinide also at around uh, five uh, around four to five differences please try to understand what is lanthanide and actinide's difference third question is a very sure question last year they deleted this portion that is preparation and properties of kmno4 potassium permanganate and potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 you know their preparation is important 
their properties properties in the sense they used as you know oxidizing agent so they will ask you write a write the equation when kmno4 acted as an oxidizing agent on iodine so what happened when kmno4 treated with iodine you know it become iodide like like iodide if you treat it it become iodine so like that so many reactions you may study in different mediums right so that's very important they will ask you any one of the for your examination so they are even their structure also important manganate permanganate chromate dichromate their structure also very important that tetrahedral structure we studied right that's also important now we can go for the next important chapter dear all very interesting chapter coordination compounds it's a very different chapter right very interesting and important chapter coordination compound dear all coordination compound you can expect a question from the iupac nomenclature we have studied a lot of ligands you see types of ligand you can expect what are the types of ligand we have studied monodendate ligand bidendate ligand polydendate ligand ambidendate ligand and chelating ligand among that ambidendate and chelating ligand definition you can expect study their example also and their charges we should remember to calculate their oxidation state etc their own nomenclature you know very well hexa i mean like that we will say that nomenclature right so when you write in the nomenclature be careful all of you all the alphabetical order cationic part right first and after the metal write in a bracket the oxidation state in a roman letters everything count right on everything write it properly types of ligand all of you study mainly focus on which all are we should know very well which all are ambidendate and the chelating ligand etc with examples and isomerism is a sure question either you can expect from the descriptive or you can expect from the mcq part isomerism let me conclude here all overall there are uh, two type of isomerism we have optical isomerisms uh, and uh, generally what we can say structural and uh, stereo structural and stereo isomers are there in structural isomerism around four types are there can you recover what are they ionization isomerism hydrate or solvate isomerism linkage isomerism and coordination isomerism these are the four type of structural isomer study what it is and example also come to the stereo isomerism that again we can classify into two what are they structure the optical isomerism and geometrical isomerism you know geometrical isomerism is also known as what cis trans isomerism this geometrical isomerism cis trans isomerism mainly given by two compound square planar and octahedral complex in square planar complex they will give you the type ma2b2 type gives this one whereas ma2b4 type in square planar gives cis trans there is a special isomerism we studied ma3b3 in octahedral complex what is that fac and mer isomer facial and meridian and come to optical isomerism in order to show optical isomerism what are the main two conditions in order to show optical isomerism first condition the complex should contain identical bidendate ligands two three times for example en twice en thrice ox twice ox thrice like that right so in order to show uh, a optical isomerism the compound should contain two or three identical bidendate ligands and one more condition their mirror image should be non super impossible if these two conditions are satisfying you can able to say that it can show optical isomerism so that's also very important and uh, werner's theory you know according to werner's theory you can expect you know according to werner's theory every central metal atom possesses two type of valency primary valency and secondary valency primary valency is also called ionizable valency secondary valency is also called non ionizable valency primary valency give you the oxidation state of the metal and secondary valency give you the coordination number that's it and vbt VBT is a sure question you can expect two three mark area valence bond theory through which you can able to say many data about a complex what is the geometry whether it is tetrahedral square planar octahedral that you can say whether it is inner orbital or outer orbital that you can say whether it is high spin or low spin whether paramagnetic or diamagnetic whether it is colored or colorless everything you can explain by the help of what VBT please study each theory at least two demerits also come to cft crystal field theory you have studied how the d orbital of the metal splitted in the presence of a ligand in two complexes in octahedral t2geg and tetrahedral e and t2 their difference and filling of electron in each case careful all of you 
Metal carbonyl is a special case. You know, metal carbonyls have an ability to form double bond with the metal, where one is sigma, one is pi. That extra bond is called what? Synergic bond or self-strengthening bond. How the sigma bond and pi bond is formed in a metal carbonyl? That is a question. You can expect a metal carbonyl from that. And eighth part, application of coordination compound. You may study it. Application of coordination compound. Just one more question. You can expect maybe MCQ or one mark area. Do you all remember? We are using in quantitative analysis to check the hardness of water by titrating with the EDTA. We are using qualitative analysis to check the presence of Fe2 plus and Ni2 plus in a compound. And we are using for medicinal purpose, you know, cisplatin, anti-cancer drug we are using and also uh, EDTA. We are using for what? Lead, lead poisoning treatment. And the biological systems like a chlorophyll, it contains magnesium and hemoglobin contain iron, vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin that contain cobalt like that. Their applications are important. And Wilkinson catalyst, you know, Wilkinson catalyst, what it is and what is the purpose. These point kind of points you have to be concentrated on the application part also. You can expect a one mark question. So let us go to the next chapter. We are going to start our organic chemistry. In our total, we have five organic chapter. First one is haloalkanes and haloarenes. Haloalkanes and haloarene in every organic chapter, we are all IUPAC nomenclature is most sure. After studying IUPAC, get into the concept. Because if you want to do conversion question, you suppose you may know about the reaction, but if you don't know what is the name and how to write the structure of the compound, it's very difficult. So study the IUPAC nomenclature we can expect from any of the chapter. Or a one, two, two mark question. So IUPAC nomenclature and most sure you question you can expect from SN1, SN2 mechanism. They will give you different compound and they can ask you which will undergo SN1 reaction faster, which undergo SN2 reaction faster. You know the order, etc. And Marconicos and anti-Marconicos rule or called Karash effect. You know Marconicos rule negative part of the addendum goes to the carbon with the less hydrogen. That part we should remember. And beta elimination, what is beta elimination dear all? Dehydrohalogenation by treating a haloalkane with alcoholic KOH. Where we are using which rule? Sates of rule. What is Sates of rule dear all? When you get two alkene, the most substituted alkene is the most stable product. That you can decide by the help of what? Sates of rule. That's important. And naming reaction. Can you recollect all of you what are the naming reaction we had studied in this chapter? First one. First one, what is the first naming reaction you had studied here all? Woods reaction, you know, Fittig reaction, Woods Fittig reaction, Sandmeyer's reaction, Gettermann reaction, Swartz reaction, Finkelstein reaction, some uh, different type of naming reactions are there. Naming reactions also you have to give more importance for that. And conversion question, you can expect that we can't decide here all. Conversion question, we should know the reaction. Maybe they will ask you from the preparation part or they will ask you from the chemical reactions. Careful. Next, I am going for a, one of the highest weightage chapter in organic chemistry. Alcohols, phenols and ethers. They are all in alcohol, phenols and ether also. As I told you, the IUPAC nomenclature is common in every organic chapter. There are three mechanisms. There are... Three mechanisms we studied in this chapter. What are mechanism? Alkene to alcohol, alcohol to alkene, and alcohol to ether. Three mechanism we had studied with the step one, step two, step three, protonation, deprotonation, nucleophilic attack, like that. That step any one of them, any one of them, you can expect for the examination. Two to three mark question. Okay. Naming reaction. Can you recollect all of you? What are the naming reaction you have studied in this chapter? What are the main three naming reaction you have studied in this chapter? Yes, you can recollect all of you. Kolb's reaction. Reamer Tiemann reaction. What is Kolb's reaction? Conversion of phenol to salicylic acid. What is Reamer Tiemann reaction? Conversion of phenol to salicyl aldehyde. And what is the third one? Williamson ether synthesis, right? When a halo alkane treated with a sodium alkoxide, you will get ether. That is a Williamson ether synthesis. That's also very important. And what are the conversions? They're all, all the reaction we should remember. Distinction test. What are the distinction test in this chapter? They're all. Maybe you have two distinction tests in this chapter. One is Lucas test. You know, Lucas test is used for distinguish primary, secondary, tertiary alcohols. 
and what is the other one neutral ferric chloride test FeCl3 neutral ferric chloride test is a test for phenol when you treat neutral ferric chloride with the phenol yes you will get a violet colored complex right so these are the important points in alcohol now come to our very the most important organic chapter you know some lengthy chapter aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid many reactions are there many naming reactions are there in this chapter First one, IUPAC nomenclature, we should know about aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid. Naming reaction. Okay, let us start here all one by one. What are the naming reaction in this chapter? Can you recollect all of you one by one as per the order? First, Rosenmunder reduction. Yes, Rosenmunder reduction, conversion of a, uh, which one, acid chloride into aldehyde. Second, Stephen reaction. Stephen reaction is a conversion of cyanide into aldehyde. Third one, Itard reaction. Itard reaction is a conversion of which one? Toluene to benzaldehyde. Fourth one, getterman koch reaction is a conversion of benzene to benzaldehyde. Right? Fifth one, Clemenson reduction and wolf kishner reduction both are used for converting a aldehyde or ketone into alkane. That's hydrocarbon. Yes. And we have very special type of reaction, aldol condensation, cross aldol condensation and Cannizzaro reaction. That's also very important. And here all, from the carboxylic acid part, we have studied mainly two reactions. One is HVZ, hell wool hard zelinsky reaction. And one is the decarboxylation also, careful. Now, conversion question, here all, all the conversion, we should remember like uh, aldol, cross aldol, those kind of uh, conversion question, like a uh, candizer, mainly conversion question itself, you can expect from acid part and aldehyde part, where most of them will be naming reaction itself. And acidity of carboxylic acid is important, you know very well, electron withdrawing group increase the acidity, electron donating group decrease the acidity, so they will give you 2-3-4 compounds for you to measure the acidity, which is more acidic, which is least acidic that you have to explain uh, by using this one. And distinguishing test, we are all, distinguishing test, many are there in this chapter, one shifts test, second fillings test. Tollens test, you know Tollens test is also called silver mirror test and iodoform test, right? These are the main test in which area, aldehyde and ketone. In carboxylic acid, which is the main test, they are all sodium bicarbonate test, that brisk effervescence generation, right? So careful all of you on this one. We have a simple, a, 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 a neat uh, type of uh, chapter in organic chemistry that is amines. They are all amines nomenclature, naming reaction. What are the important naming reaction in this chapter? You know... One of the synthesis you may study it, Gabriel Thalimide synthesis. It's a synthesis one. Most sure question you can expect from Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. You know, it's a conversion of amide to amine or one carbon less in the product. Then, carbylamine reaction. You know, carbylamine reaction is also called isocyanide test, right? Isocyanide test. And so these are the main uh, naming reaction, even diazotization also important. Conversions are important here all. And fourth one, basicity of amine. From acid part, you expected the question, acidity of uh, carboxylic acid. You know, amines are basic, uh, it's very sure question. They will ask you uh, in this medium or uh, they will give you different, different kind of uh, which one amines and they will ask you which is more basic and the least, least basic one. We studied some uh, order, etc. Right? So that is very important. Diazonium salt, they are all conversion part you can expect. You know, benzene, diazonium, chloride. Anilin on disotization, you will get benzene, disodium, chloride. That many, many reaction we have treated, right? What are the reaction, dear all? If you treat it with the CuCl, with the HCl, you will get chlorobenzene. Same main reaction. If you use copper powder with the HCl or HBS something, you will get chloro and bromobenzene. The Gutterman reaction. If you heat with the warm potassium iodide, you will get iodobenzene. If you treat it with the HBF4, fluoroboric acid, you will get fluorobenzene. If you treat it with the HBF4 first, again if you treat it with the NaNO2 and copper etc, you will get what? Uh, nitrobenzene. When you treat benzene, diazonium chloride with the ethanol or H3PO2, it becomes benzene. So, so many conversions or so many compounds you can prepare from where benzene, diazonium chloride, that's all reaction we should remember important. And the coupling reaction also very important, the diazonium salt. Uh, reacting with the aniline, diazonium salt, reacting with the phenol, these two uh, combinations also very important. And distinguishing test, what are the three distinguishing tests in the chapter amine? First distinguishing test, dear all, that is what Hinsberg test. What is Hinsberg? Benzene, diazonium chloride, that reactions are important. Second one, 
the so which one we said first Hinsberg uh, test is important to distinguish between primary, secondary, tertiary amine. And second one is what carbilamine test. Carbilamine or isocyanate test is only given by primary aliphatic or aromatic amine. One more is there no nitrous acid test. Nitrous acid test is used to distinguish between one primary uh, 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 amine and aliphatic and primary aromatic amine. So conversion question and distinguishing test, basicity, disonium salt, coupling reaction, these are the main part in amines. So let's go for our last 10th chapter that is biomolecules. That's very easy chapter and fully the theory based questions. You know carbohydrates. You know carbohydrates you have to be focused on what are carbohydrates there to different type of classification. Monosaccharide, oligosaccharide, polysaccharide what it is and example. Another type is the reducing sugars and non-reducing sugar what it is and example. And uh, structure of glucose is important, structure of fructose is important. We had studied the glucose uh, first and fifth carbon connecting, making it to the hemiacetal ring form. That we also writing as the Havorth representation, that everything is important. What are the two? Anomers, dear all, what are anomers? Anomers are isomers, and they are differ only in the configuration of one carbon. You know, alpha D glucose and beta D glucose are the anomers of glucose. So that structure, difference, definition, important. Proteins. They are all proteins. Proteins are, you know, it's a big molecule. It is made up of amino acid. So, what is study? What is amino acid and what type of bond present? So, even in carbohydrate, they are all, don't forget, monosaccharide 3, we are studying detail. Only two, right? Which one? Glucose and fructose. Disaccharide, we are studying three. What are sucrose, maltose, lactose? Study what is their individual components. Monosaccharide inside that. And what is the bond we call between two monosaccharide? Glycosidic linkage. What are the three polysaccharide we had studied? Starch, cellulose and glycogen. Their bonding and which all uh, species are present inside important. So in proteins, come to protein once again, amino acid you study, two amino acids are joined through peptide bond and the, amino, the proteins are of two types. Most repeated question in all board examination, what are fibrous protein, globular protein, their definition and example. What are amino acid, essential amino acid, non-essential amino acid, one type of classification, just study two examples for each and acidic, basic, neutral amino acid, study one example for each. And uh, what is denaturation of protein is a very important concept. So, and structure of protein, primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary, structures also very important. Vitamin deficiency is a one more question dear all. Either you can expect in the, uh, the theory part or you can expect from the, mostly you can expect from the MCQ part. Vitamin deficiency, vitamin A, you know, it causes seroophthalmia or night blindness like that. Each vitamin and the deficiency causes, what that uh, uh, de deficiency causes, everything we should remember. And DNA, RNA, where you have to study what are nucleoside, what are nucleotide, what are nucleic acid. You know, nucleoside contain a pendo sugar and base, where it is present, everything study. Nucleotide means a nucleoside with a phosphate group and many nucleotides are connected through a phosphodiester linkage. We are getting nucleic acid, DNA, RNA. Study what is the difference between DNA and RNA, what all bases are present, etc. These are the expecting questions from which one? biomolecules chapter so dear all overall this is our 10 chapters we are going to complete all these 10 chapters for the upcoming february 28th chemistry board examination 2023 so be confident and be prepare each and every concept once again definitely we can able to score 70 out of 70 if you decide or if you if you imagine you should have a dream in your mind you should complete the examination every time now this upcoming days keep concentrate on only on the board examination wish you all the very best thank you all